Hi, welcome. Simon here, and hope you're doing well. Here I have the 2023 Windows 11, and I'll be setting it up as a standalone. And this laptop here is Lenovo Slim 7, and I'll go ahead and walk you through the process from start to the end by using the Wi Fi. All right, so brand new off the box, you remove and turn it on and this is the first th thing that you will see on your screen is the country or the region so I'm in United States so I'll be selecting United States for my purpose but for you you should find your country or your region after clicking next I'm gonna ask you for the keyboard layout I'll be using United States click yes do I have a second keyboard layout skip and I'll be connecting to my Wi-Fi. All right, so here's the trick. Where's my Netgear? There you go. That's my Netgear Wi-Fi. I'm gonna connect. And it says connected. So now I can go and click next. And the computer is gonna do the check for the updates and, and do what it needs to be done. Now here's the trick that I'm gonna do is to disconnect the router, meaning disconnecting the Wi-Fi, so that it will trick the computer not knowing that, hey, I don't have internet, therefore I'm not able to log in or sign into Microsoft account. So with that given the purpose, then I can skip and bypass by using the computer as a standalone, locally as a local user, so it won't be with Microsoft account, it would be just a local account in this laptop. I'll tell you when to disconnect the router or disconnecting the Wi-Fi. Just be patient and I'm just gonna wait until that screen that I, I'll be seeing the next. I'm not sure about good, good thing coming my way because it's a good things coming your way with all the updates I'm not too sure if it's a good thing or not but we all agree there's a lot of things going on and a lot of updates going on all right the computer is still starting up rebooting itself Okay, at this given moment, I'm just going to run through my router and I'm going to disconnect or power off my router, meaning that I'll be turning off my Wi-Fi as well. So as a proof, I just came back from disconnecting my router or turning off the power. You don't have to disconnect the router like I do. You don't have to unplug all the wiring. You can just turn off the power and that should do it. I just wanted to tell you at this page here, at the screen, this is when I disconnect my Netgear router. All right, after I'm done doing that, I'm gonna click accept.
and here it's going to say who's going to use this device i'm just going to name it as um, owner or let's name it as adele no password except the privacy and settings I'm gonna skip this protection plan and there you have it it's just gonna boot straight into that Windows and the user is under local account it is not connected to Microsoft and it doesn't sync to the cloud so I hope this video is helpful for you and yeah so if you do find the video is helpful please go ahead and smash the like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please feel free to subscribe to the channel and i just want to get into the settings and show it to you that the computer is locally uh, local account versus microsoft account let's just get to the settings in a second Alright, so we are in the desktop screen, just wanted to go to settings and show it to you that says the account is local account. As you can see that the on the top left corner it says local account, it is not signed into Microsoft. So that's what I wanted to share that with you. Um, if you happen to be signed in, you can always come to account here. And switch it over to the local administrator uh, you can sign off there is a sign off button somewhere here just click on that sign off Microsoft account you will turn yourself into a local account administrator all right I hope this video is helpful if you do find it helpful please go ahead and smash the like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please feel free to subscribe thanks for watching until next time please take care and bye now